My name is Stefan Klaasen. I'm a professor of development economics at the University of Göttingen in Germany. And my research deals mostly, I'm an economist, uh, my research deals mostly with questions of inequality uh, in developing countries. In particular, I focus quite a lot on gender inequality, but also on general inequality issues and poverty issues in uh, poor countries. I think we are facing a lot of challenges in the world um, on how um, societies are developing. We have a lot of tensions, a lot of frictions, um, both within countries, we have it between countries, um, and uh, we don't have a very good understanding of uh, how we can address this ever complex world, um, how we can make sure that people's lives can still prosper uh, and continue to prosper in a world where uh, uh, there is uh, increasing complexity, increasing interaction between people, their inequality issues, their poverty issues, their uh, uh, issues of conflict. Uh, and I hope that this process will kind of bring together the kind of consensus among social scientists about what the key issues are, um, how we can think about them, and how we can um, address them in a way that promotes human well-being uh, on the planet. I was involved uh, in a similar process. I was a member of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, which is uh, a more formalized process uh, and just focuses on climate change, brings together um, the kind of scientific consensus on those issues. And I found uh, that to be a very valuable and important exercise, uh, but there has not been something similar uh, for the kind of non-climate related, non-environment related issues. Here is an opportunity to do that. Uh, and um, so I'm excited about being part of that and hope that we will be able to come to a strong um, analytical basis for a uh, analysis and prescription and uh, understanding of what the key social issues of our time are and how we can address them uh, to promote human well-being in the world. Um, well, I've done quite a lot of work on gender inequality, um, how it has developed uh, across the world, in particular in poor countries, but also in, uh, across the world um, in education, labor force participation, pay, political participation. And um, so that will be a particular area where I can make a contribution trying to understand the nature of gender inequality, how it differs across the world, um, how it has changed, uh, what the drivers of those changes were. So that's one area where I hope to be able to contribute. I spend also quite a bit of time thinking about the linkages between inequality and economic performance. Um, to what extent does inequality uh, put, uh, uh, is a burden to uh, improving economic performance and the lives of people. So that's the second area where I think uh, I can make a contribution. Well, I am an econom economist by training and um, I do my analysis usually in a, qu a quantitative fashion. Um, but of course, as um, um, an economist um, dealing with issues that are not only purely narrow economic issues, um, such as, for example, the field of gender, uh, one needs to be also conversant in what other disciplines are thinking about, um, uh, including uh, sociology, including uh, anthropology, uh, including political science. Uh, and that's actually another thing that I hope to get out of this, is that one gets to a slightly more holistic picture that uh, I wouldn't be able to uh, arrive at uh, from my narrow standpoint. I think one social change that I would like to see is that the kind of the um, inequality that is associated by the, what I call the lottery of birth, where you happen to be born, whether you're born in a rich country, in a poor country, whether you're born white or black, whether you're born male or female, whether you're born from in a, a socially disadvantaged group or not, that those distinctions become as small as possible. So that uh, in a sense, um, we are moving towards a world where everybody has a decent starting point for human flourishing and is not uh, constrained 
by things that are beyond their control, in particular uh, where they are, who their parents are, and things like race, gender, ethnicity, and so on.